Man, I'm bushed. I got no motivation at all. And Mono Fanny's period is late too. <laughs> Father, why do you know Mono Fanny's cycle? Never mind that. Perhaps this lack of motivation is due to a lack of hibernation. Yeah. Lack of hibernation? Yeah. I haven't been sleeping well lately. So I haven't really been able to hibernate. That's awful. What would be causing it? Ah. Is it because you have a lot on your mind? Uh -huh. Hmm? Is it because the graveyard shift pays a better hourly wage? Hmm? Really? Is it because you don't want them to think you're just goofing around? Hmm... Huh? Is it because you want to stay friends? Hmm... Huh? Huh? Is it because you want to watch it in real time? Or what are you even talking about? Huh? Baba? He's gone into hibernation. We should let him be. Yeah, you're right. Night, night. That was the least useful one yet. And that's saying a lot. That's messed up! What a colossal death flag. I'll be surprised if he doesn't die after that. Oh, God damn it, oh, you love that crap, don't you? Dramas and junk. More importantly, let's continue the conversation where we left off. Yeah, I'm with Kaito on this one. We understand Mew plotted the murder, but we need to find out who killed her. And in order to figure that out, we need to understand Mew's actions. So let's discuss her murder scheme step by step. I know that's important, but hearing you lead the conversation really pisses me off. Let's see. Mew manipulated the virtual world to use it as part of her murder plan. Don't just ignore me and start anyway. Let it go, Kaito. If she had succeeded, she would have gone past the wall between the chapel and mansion. And then WHAM! Murdered me on the roof with the hammer. She would make the murder seem like it happened in the real world, and then pin it on Kaito. As for Mew's alibi in the real world, she could say she was locked into the virtual world. And in the virtual world, she could say she was near the chapel the entire time. She'd make an excuse about how she couldn't reach the mansion because of the fallen bridge. I mean, there are still a few holes in her testimony. If that would have been the case. She dropped the bridge on purpose so she could separate the chapel from the mansion. Then secretly passed through the wall she installed and took advantage of the loop. After, she headed to where we were supposed to meet up, the mansion's rooftop. Oh yeah, Kaito was probably logged out around that time too. That's when I saw Mew. So she must have been alive up to that point. The problem is, because of her murder plans, we don't even know where she was killed. She was killed on the roof, right? Kokichi told us the roof door was locked and that he couldn't get through. Maybe that when culprit killed her. That's probably what happened. The culprit killed her on the locked roof. Did the culprit lock the door to the roof? Perhaps. 
I don't think Mew did it. If Mew did lock in, she would have done it when she called Kokichi to the roof. Even if someone came up, I don't believe she would change the target of her plan. She knew that Kokichi would come up later. Locking the door would be suspicious. Well, it's possible she didn't even think that far ahead. She was smart, but she was also really, really dumb. Yeah, it was quite the combination. No say such mean things. Killing game bad, not Mew. Mew not bad person. Going to think we could have been friends if things different. That might have been difficult, even without this killing game. Hey, some t somehow I was able to do it. I mean, she was still planning to kill me in the end. Well, not me specifically, but, you know, me by proxy, but... Uh, she did offer me that date, so I can't ignore that fact. That wouldn't happen. Nuh-uh. No way, Jose. Huh? Anyway, let's continue the discussion. If Mew was killed on the roof of the mansion, the culprit must have moved Mew's avatar to the chapel after killing her, right? Either the culprit did it. Don't know how else it could have happened. So the next thing we should talk about is how they moved her avatar. Now we know the mansion and chapel were actually next to each other. But the problem is the wall between them. Only Mew was able to go through that wall. The culprit wouldn't have been able to. Then you're saying the culprit sent Mew's avatar through that wall? Yeah, that's the only way, right? On the mansion, what what way was the roof slanted? The, the bit on the left side, which way was it slanted? I need a picture. But how did the culprit send Mew's avatar through the wall? Do I have a picture? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Give me a second. Uh, do I have anything that shows... No. That, that's ch the chapel. Damn it, there's nothing specific. Ah, damn it. I mean, it's not like they could have thrown her. Go to not throw her! We know. You couldn't because the Avatar's physical strength was equalized. Physical strength equalized? That problem. Going to know can protect everyone if that happens. Jeez, keep up with us. We're already in the second half of the class trial. Hmm. How did they send Mew's Avatar to the other side of the wall? Maybe that thing has something to do with it. You know, the loud sound you heard. It sounded like... Wood. And there was the thing we found next to her. Because of that sound, you guys went to the side of the chapel. Right, Keyboy? That's when you found the dead Mew there, right? If so, then I think that sound and her avatar being by the chapel are related. Yes, there's no doubt in my mind that that noise is related to this case. We need to figure out what that sound could have been. It might be the clue we need to solve this case. So what was it? It sounded like something slamming hard into something else. So what were those two things? It could be... I think it's this. No? Or maybe... 
I don't think the impact would have been loud enough to startle everyone. Okay. In that case, it would have to be this. That's it. I think the sound came from Mew's avatar hitting the chapel wall. The hammer, cell phone, and lattice were there, but they were too small to make that noise. I would have argued that the lattice could make that noise, but fair enough. Ruling those out, the only other explanation is that the sound was Mew colliding with a wall. If that's the case, Mew's avatar must have hit the chapel wall really hard. He felt the impact all the way from the inside of the chapel. Yeah, that's the real question. Mew's avatar probably hit the chapel's wall with pretty considerable force. But why did it hit the wall with such force? Can you guys figure it out? Hold on, Kokichi. What's up with the way you're talking? Why are you talking like you know everything? Let's not worry about that right now. I'm worried about it right now. More importantly, we gotta solve the mystery. Fighting among friends is a waste of time. Friends? Us? Anyway, can we talk about that after we figure this problem out? Y yeah, sure. A way of transporting Mew's avatar that would cause it to crash into the chapel. Game Mew's avatar to crash into the chapel from the mansion's roof. There's only one way I can think of how to do that. Hey Shuichi, as your partner, I'll give you a little hint. You what? Since the mansion was on top of a hill, the roof was pretty high up, right? That's the picture I needed. Past the brick handrail, the roof was at a pretty steep slope. And the slope faced the chapel wall. On top of that, there was snow on the roof. If the culprit needed force to move the body, I wonder how they did it. Yeah, you know what, Kukichi? I'm good. I figured it out. Kukichi is talking as if he's got the whole thing figured out already. But I can't let him distract me. I need to solve the case. How to make Mew hit the chapel wall from the roof of the mansion. I'm going to find the answer. Alright, another Hangman's Gambit. Oh god, I don't know what... Uh, Shit. Okay, what are my words? I... S... I... Slid. Go guess the last word is roof? Seems like a good idea to me. I feel bad for Shuichi, you know. He's not thinking, like, 100% straight. Also, I saw you right there. Hit him, Monokuma. He's not thinking completely 100% straight with a mix of everyone depending on him and freaking Kokichi goading him all the time. Even if it's goading to be helpful, it's still goading. Also, what the hell will that set middle word be? Okay, I've got an O and an e Off. Slid off roof. Another F there. Give me that R. Oh. And then an F. <laughs> yeah, figured that out. The culprit used a slope roof as a slide for Mew's avatar. Slide? Aw, oh, man, even with the slope and the snow, Mew's body wouldn't have slid. Wrong. It would slide. But the avatars can generate friction. We wouldn't have been able to walk otherwise. So I doubt that it would have had that much momentum. No, no. It would slide. Yeah, I'm with Kikichi on this one. Oh, man, that's weird to say. It wouldn't slide, just like Maki Roll said. It would slide, just like Shumai said. But who? 
Who the hell is Schumann? Oh, he's a pupil of Ramen Man. Uh, sorry, my hobby slipped in. What? Is that an ultimate mu muscle reference? Whatever. I'm positive that's how Muse Avatar was moved, but maybe the culprit used something else as well to help her body slide. A uh, sign boy used as a bridge, lattice near chapel. What was the lattice? Uh. Found on the ground by Muse Avatar was not seen at the chapel before that point. That is a lie. It was in the storage room. That's what they used. Wait, what? Why am I? I, I knew that already. Why am I getting so excited about that fact? Not so much new, more deduced. Lots of snow piled up on roof. But not frozen solid, right? We'd still slide though. Whoosh. World, it might be difficult. <laughs> That's a fun one. Virtual world, perhaps not. Um, virtual world, no. That's not the issue. Sliding down snow is easy to do. You just need a sled or skis to cut the friction. There was nothing like that around them. You're wrong. That's wrong. No wait. There was something that could have been used to help slide Mew's body. Do you remember the lattice that was found by Mew's avatar? The culprit laid her on top of that, then used it as a sled on the roof. I did notice the lattice in the storage room when I first looked. But during the investigation, I saw that it was gone. The lattice that was found next to the chapel is the one that disappeared from the roof? Exactly, and since that wall lets objects pass through. Then that's it. The culprit used the lattice as a sled. Ding, ding, ding! That's correct! After the culprit killed Mew on the rooftop, they placed her corpse on a sled and slid her down the roof's steep slope. The sled picked up speed, flew off the roof, glided through the wall only objects could pass through, and hit the chapel. made all of her belongings scattered, including the hammer and cell phone. Just like that hedgehog who loses all his rings whenever he crashes into stuff. Okay, that reference is an obvious one. I... I hate that guy and his worldwide fame and his stupid games and I hate that hedgehog! Jesus. There aren't any Sonic fans in the... Viewing party. Daddy, I'm glad you're feeling motivated again, or you shouldn't be so hateful. Yeah, gotta be an example to our new family. Yeah, but then again, he's getting mad at Sonic, and Sonic hasn't had that many good games. I mean, don't get me wrong, Sonic Colors, Generations, and Mania were pretty cool, but you know, there's like three out of 20 or so bad ones. Sonic has a lot of video games, man. Yeah, father. Or should I start calling you grandfather now? Now that we know how the body slid down, we're just one step away from the culprit. Well, Shuichi, do you know who the culprit is? Do I? The culprit. We'll still need to guess the culprit, huh? 
But Nonta can't believe one of us killed Mew. However, since we know she was killed on the roof, we can narrow down the list of suspects. Meaning, the culprit must be someone who was investigating the mansion. That is true. Aside from you, the people at the chapel could not go through the wall or cross the river. So that means the suspects are Kaito, Samugi, Shuichi, and Gonta. That's real sneaky, leaving yourself off the list. <laughs> oh, you got me. That's right, five suspects. Me, Smoothie, Gonta, Kokichi, and Kaito. We don't know enough to name the culprit yet, but one of them is suspicious. When we were talking about the rooftop, they clearly lied. But what reason would they have to lie? I'll need to press them for information before making any judgments. Kaito, Karumi... Maki, don't know why I said Karumi, she's, uh, she's gone. But it's you, Kokichi. You clearly lied. Question is, it's why? You. Kokichi, there's something I need to know. Hmm, what do you need to know? Why did you lie just now? Which lie are you talking about, Shuichi? I lie a lot, so you'll need to jog my memory. Fine. I'll expose your lie right now. The one where he never went to the roof. What happened? The culprit killed her on the locked roof. You showing us the map. Yep, no, those ones are true. That bothered me. But I know precisely the one that we need to pay attention to. Also, there are more finnies here. Jesus. Okay. Um. Oh, God. And they're upside down. Jesus Christ. I'm going to have to get creative with the way I... Uh, the culprit, something on the roof. Uh, that's the one where they killed her on the roof. That one's correct. Um, I need the one where he says he never went to the rooftop. Yes, this one. This one right here. Um, right, so if we do this, and then... Well, crap, I just screwed myself. Um, ah, damn it. I would... That would have been good if I... Literally only had one more. Um, right, so need to do this, need to do that. That gets rid of that one. Shit, I'm losing a lot of time by me doing that, but you know what, that's fine. Um, gets rid of that. Ugh, this feels really bad, man. Why, Kokichi? to the roof was locked. You said. You never went to the roof, not even for the meeting. But later, you said. Since the mansion was on top of a hill, the roof was pretty high up, right? Past the brick handrail, the roof was a pretty steep slope. And sloped face the chapel wall, and on top of that, there was no snow on. There was snow on the roof. That's a lot of specific information. Stuff you wouldn't know if you hadn't been there. Oh yeah! Now that you mention it, how did you know all that stuff? You could probably see the steep slope of the roof from outside the mansion, but you wouldn't know about the brick handrail unless you went up to the roof yourself. Huh? What, what, 
What? What's this all about, Kokichi? Did you actually go to the rooftop? I, 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 I didn't. I already t told you that b before. Why you look so nervous? Mm. Is this a sincere reaction? Mm. He's been guiding us along for a while now. Why? Why would he? Unless he wanted to make it more fun, but I don't believe this for a second. But, but there's no evidence that pr proves I went to the roof. Oh, wait, I remember now. That thing Himiko said. <laughs> Me? At the start of the class trial, I remember you saying the handrail was made of bricks. Ooh, you so clumsy, girl! Gotta be more careful there, Himiko! Just to break the fourth wall for a second, as much as this guy is a shit, character-wise, that voice actor is loving this role. He is eating it right up, and I appreciate that about him. Gonna have to look him up once this is over. Is it my fault? Himiko really say that? She totally said that! No, she didn't! Yes, she did. She did not! She did too! Oh, guys, come on, this is turning into a freaking infant school argument. Then when? Tell me how long ago. In hours, minutes, and seconds. <laughs> what a worthless fight! See, guys, you're making me agree with Monokuma now. We don't have time for this. But Kokichi is stubborn. He won't fess up no matter what. <laughs> You're right about that. But if he's been being this stubborn, it makes me think he has something to hide. To get him to show his hand, I have to prove he was on the roof. I might not like it, but I have to be aggressive. If we don't get the whole truth now, everyone's lives are in danger. Right, okay. I didn't go to the roof. What have I got? Kichi in Salon. Kichi agreed to meet up with me on the roof, but because oh hang on. But because the door to the rooftop was locked, he couldn't. Because of that, he returned to the salon and decided to search there. There are no witnesses who can confirm whether or not Kokichi was actually in the salon. Well, that's pretty damning. You're lies, man! I'm not lying! The rooftop door was locked and I couldn't open it! So what did Kokichi do? I turned back at once, of course. And stayed in the salon the whole time, you know? Wires burn in hell, you know? If you're lying, I'll set your pants on fire! That's fine, because I'm not lying! Then why do you look so nervous? He choose lying for sure, but if he keeps throwing lies at me, I have to fight fire with fire. Meaning that I have to lie. I've had enough of your lies, man. Kichi not, not in salon. The rooftop door was locked and I couldn't open it. So what did Kokichi do? I think I have to lie right here. I turned back at once, of course. And, and stayed in the salon the whole time, you know? Wires burning. Shit, out, damn it. Know? Oh god, that takes out that takes out a lot of life. Jesus. Okay. Right, 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 right. Okay, I got this. So what did Kokichi do? I turned back at once, of course. And then you. Yeah, damn it. Ah. Uh, 
Jesus Christ, this is gonna kill me. Oh, got there eventually. Kokichi, you're lying right now, aren't you? Huh? Lying about what? Just before the murder occurred, I went to the salon to check on you. But you weren't there. What? Really? I waited there for a while. You never showed up. What's this all about, Kokichi? Didn't you go right back to the salon after finding the roof door locked? I see. You use underhanded tactics too, huh, Shuichi? Maybe. But... Don't compare myself to you. So who are you guys gonna believe? Shuichi or me? Well, of course I'm gonna believe Shuichi! I believe Shuichi 100%. The one who's not Kokichi. Thanks, Mackie. 100 house points. Oh, no. Himiko points to Shuichi. But to go to the salon, Shuichi would need to pass by me in the dining room. Um, I wonder why I didn't notice Shuichi there. Shit. Shuichi anyway. He's usually right about stuff. Thank you, Smoothie. Sorry, but I'm going to believe Shuichi too. Hmm. I see. I wanted at least Gonta to believe me. <laughs> what comes around goes around. That's what happens to liars like you. Why do you guys hate lies that much? There's only one truth. But endless possibilities for lies, you know? And some of them are only white lies, or lies to be kind to people. If you deny all of that just because it's a lie, then that means you guys are just terrible at being lied to! Seriously, the worst! Just spit it out already! You went to the roof, didn't you? Isn't that where he met up with Mew? No, he didn't just meet her there. He probably... Okay, fine. I'll tell you if you want to know that badly. Consider this my revenge. Revenge? You got some balls lying to me. I'm gonna take away your fun for pissing me off, Shuichi. Yeah? Bring it, short stuff. I won't let you do any detective work, or deduction, or mystery solving, or anything! Oh? So, I'll confess everything. You guys better listen carefully. 